to z- today's adventure is the Zona Archaeologica. Is that how you say it? In okay. Tulum. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're in Tulum going to the ruins, yeah. which is my way of saying Zona, Zona Archaeologica. Archaeologica. So. I hope there's baños there. We're Kathy and Scott, empty nesters turned adventure seekers. We've taken the leap into a brand new life by donating all of our belongings, keeping only what fits in two suitcases each, then saying goodbye to family and friends and boarding a plane out of Canada. And here, in the beautiful country of Costa Rica, the adventure continues. Um, We had to park a ways from the actual wonder. The ruins. The ruins. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're hiking and walking. It's paved. It's not that. It's not a hike. It's a walk. It, but it's hot, so it's. Uh, it feels a bit like a yeah. hike. No, it's just a gentle walk. Yeah. And one of the things it, we, like I said, we had to park a ways away. It was uh, 150 pesos to All park. Day. All day. And um, because it looks like what I thought was the parking lot has been blocked off. And, and then the other thing I've read on, on the line is that there may be a number of people um, who will try to sell you tours. And that that did happen back there when we parked the car, snorkeling tours, but possibly yeah. at the Bruins as well. Yeah. And so the recommendation is you know, to pay at the actual um, entrance to the Ruins. So we shall see, we'll see what happens. What happens. <laughs> We've just uh, entered the park and paid our ticket. Um, you have to have exact change in Mexican pesos. pesos. Yeah. Um, so no credit cards. No credit cards, no, no any money. other kind of yeah. money, and they don't give you change. Yeah. So make sure you have exact. At this point, it's 85 pesos per person. Yeah. Remember to keep, don't get rid of these. You'll need these. Uh, to actually get in the gate. Once you pay for your ticket, you'll be just, um, given one of these. And uh, there's a, a fellow with a ticket booth that will need to see them in order to let you get in to the rooms. Oh, the clouds are coming. Okay. Already, I am dripping with sweat. It's, it's very, hot. very hot. Uh, but it looks like some clouds are coming in. Maybe we'll get rained yeah. on. Let's run through the rooms right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go on. here about uh, 30 odd years ago and it was just as um, impactful but we could wander around through all of the areas. I remember that building it the first time I saw it, it it hit me see emotionally well it's hitting me emotionally again this time I don't even know why <laughs> but that building means something. Um, it's, it's really awe-inspiring here. You say you feel at home here. It's called the Palace of the Great Lord. <laughs> that must be it. Yeah. I, that's a compliment. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I took it as one. <laughs> Yeah, he wants 
Mickey Lynx. <laughs> I, uh, I feel hot and a little bit sweaty. That's not what I'm talking about. You're definitely hot. You took my ca my hat. Yeah, I actually I had to take Kathy's cap because uh, the I could feel the very top of my head um, getting sunburned. I don't know why, because I have a thick mane of hair up there. No, it's pretty thin. And uh, yeah, Kathy was gracious enough uh, to be my hero and give me her hat. You know, it, I don't know how to describe how I'm feeling. Yeah, it's, the architecture is pretty cool. Some of the buildings kind of flare out at the top, which is kind of a cool feature. And it just, you know, it just makes me wonder, like, who actually designed these? Was it the religious figures or you know, the royalty? Some believe that the site may have been called Zama, or City of Dawn, because it faces the sunrise over the Caribbean Sea. is the Maya god of bees and honey, and is also called the diving or descending god. This is the temple of the descending god. to both land and sea, with a key trade item being obsidian. Ah, I found a spot in the shade uh, with a beautiful sea breeze. And I'm gonna wait here until Scott returns. He's off taking photos. It is beautiful here and it's mighty hot. <laughs> I found the best spot to rest. Where? Right here. Nice it's like, like best. Good Good pictures? pictures? I think so, yeah. You have to be quick because um, we're walking your way and that's really what you have to expect. Um, so, uh, hoping I got some good ones. Some advice by Kathy. Oh, there's a fly on the camera. No, you can say it afterwards. You can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought that was the intro. Wise well, advice by Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> so, wherever you can find a shady spot to sit, take advantage of it. It's hot and moist. <laughs> and your legs and feet get tired from walking around. You know, I do have to say that there's, I don't have to say it, but I want to say it. Um, we've seen people in um, crutches oh, yeah. and walking canes. And very and elderly. Very, very elderly, like hunched over and walking with the help of other people. Um, and here I am a little bit complaining. Not complaining, so just feeling, saying, here's the feeling. wise advice. Yeah. Make sure you take advantage of this, um, the opportunity to sit down in the shade and bring lots of water with you.
So that's our tour of Zona Archaeologica in Tulum. Yes, really beautiful site. It's actually a very awe-inspiring um, experience when you get away from the crowds a little bit and just wander around in silence. Um, you, you can really feel the history. It's, uh, well, it's, it's taken over me anyway a couple times. <laughs> I got a little bit emotional. Um, well worth it. I would 100% recommend coming here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> if you'd like to see more of our videos and what we get up to, please consider subscribing. It really helps us out a lot. And of course, hit the notification hit the bell. Thing. <laughs> so you're notified the next time we put a video up. Thanks for watching. <laughs> the sun getting you a little bit? <laughs> a little bit, just a little bit too, came out too much. A little bit too much came out. <laughs> oh well. It, Ultra cool with I, my hat backwards. I know, that's how photographers look. <laughs> Kind of goes with your splashy shirt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what do you say in Mexico? Uh, mañana. I don't know. <laughs> Stop. Mañana. Yeah.